Listen to this quote. At first, you may not think it's positive, but it is. It says, when everything has to be right, something isn't. So often, we are looking and hoping for perfection, but there's always something that is slightly ajar. And when we look for perfection inside of us, when we're standing in front of the mirror, uh, we can sometimes devalue who we are, because we know what our imperfections are, because we're carrying all of that baggage of the past. In 1 Timothy 6, verse 6, it says, A devout life does bring wealth, but it's the rich simplicity of being yourself before God. In the Bible, many times, wealth means well-being. To live a life where you really feel well-being, it can make you rich every single moment of the day. Well, face it, my friend, sometimes it can be tough to respect yourself, especially if you're feeling like a less than perfect citizen living in a world that seems to demand constantly perfection. But before you plunge headlong into self-critical thoughts, I ask you today to consider this. God knows all your imperfections, all of your faults, all of your shortcomings, and God loves you anyway. I'm going to repeat that. God loves you anyway. And because God loves you, you can and you should feel good about the person you see when you look in the mirror. God's love is bigger and more powerful than anyone, even you, can imagine. But it's no fairy tale. God's love is real, more real than anything you can see with your eyes. So, I ask you to do yourself a favor today. Accept God's love with open arms. Whenever you have a moment when you don't love yourself very much, I ask you to stop and remember this. God does love you a lot. And you know what else? God is always right.